And uh, so uh, tell us a little bit more in terms of specification. Mm -hmm. uh, what are we looking at here with the, uh, with the tablet? Well, the thinness is 6.9 millimeters. Mm -hmm. It's actually thinner than the, the Xperia phone. Z that's, smartphone. Uh, let's maybe yeah. show that. Because uh, you've got 7.2 millimeters here on the smartphone, 6.9 It's on the deceptive. Tablet. They're so close. Yeah, yet, very close. You know, just a sliver. Just a sliver, <laughs> right. And it's really gorgeous. The same, you can see the design commonality. In mm -hmm. fact, uh, the, the charging port, I saw it somewhere. There, there, we, there, there, right there, there it is. So there's going to be, uh, both of these will have their respective uh, docking uh, ports as an optional accessory. And the vol and the, 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 the power button you can see here, and uh, the doors, this door access doors are very similar as well yes. in terms of, uh, yeah. of design. And, and again, the, that same uh, philosophy of not taking away from the beauty of the product just because you're making it water resistant. Right. So very flush. So you can almost, it's almost hard to see where those flaps are for all the ports. So, um, so you're saying, what's the, what's the size of this? It's 10 inches, right? It's a 10 inch screen. Yeah, and it, it's the lightest 10 inch tablet in the world, and it's the thinnest tablet in what's the world. The, what's the weight in grams? Uh, 495. Wow, that's yeah. less so, than half a kilo. Yeah, so just uh, just slightly over a pound. What's uh, the screen resolution? You know, off the top It's a full HD. It's a 1920 by, uh, 1280? by 1200. 1200. 1920 by 1200. Uh, and it has the Mobile Bravia Engine 2, mm -hmm, right. as does the, the like smartphone. So. And so it's a full HD with Mobile Bravia Engine 2. And the color reproduction, interesting to note, is that you get better, uh, more than 20% greater color reproduction versus the iPad. Wow. Crazy. Well, <laughs> Apple, you know what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> um, what about the cameras? Are they the same or well, downscaled little, little a little bit? Well, a little bit different because yeah. the usage case is, di the, you know, the usage is different from a smartphone to a tablet. So here you have the Exmor RS for mobile sensor. Yeah, the 13. Yeah, and here we have the generation of the Exmor R for mobile sensor in both the forward and the primary camera. Right. Is this an 8 in the back? Yes, 8 yeah, in yeah. the back and 2 in the front, and both are HD, uh, full HD capable video recording. Do I see an infrared blaster up yes, there? Yes, you sure do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Excellent. And so an application that we're promoting for this is downloadable from Google Play is called TV Side View. And it's your own product? Yes. So you download it into the tablet from Google Play, and it gives you a combination of the remote control functionality with the IR with EPG, so your electronic right. programming guide for the, the, your cable or satellite provider of choice. Did you work with Peel on this, or is this completely a separate thing? I, I believe it's completely separate. Okay. Yeah. And then there's a couple of different ways that we approach the EPG. One is your traditional grid, you know, where you can right. see programs days in advance. But there's also one that's like, you know, you've been to a sushi restaurant where they have the sushi going around on the belt? Yeah, yeah. There's one kind of like that. Like that. It, and it scrolls with tiles of all the programs. Right. And the size of the tile shows how they're trending on social media. Ah. And right, then when you cool. see the one you want, I say, oh, Walking Dead. <laughs> I go and I toss that in the direction of the infrared. And then it and changes it, it the channel. changes the channel. Wow. Plus you have voice search, too. Course. So uh, if I search for Spider-Man, a Sony picture, of course. Uh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> another plug. Yeah. Ah. Got it in there. <laughs> <laughs> if I search for that, it's going to search on Wikipedia, on YouTube, on Netflix, etc. The services that I've decided I want that to come on, and it's going to show me the results. And I go, oh yeah, YouTube. Let me see the trailer, right. and then I can watch it here, or I say, select watch over there. What kind of processor do you have in there? Quad core S4 Pro, just like like awesome. the Xperia just Z like smartphone. The, just yes. like the phone. So many commonalities between the two devices. And and the storage is a, there's also expandable storage. Yes, on this, uh, right? it depends on uh, which one you get. The Wi-Fi only go, goes expandable up to an additional 64 gig. If you get the one that has LTE in addition or H HSPA in addition, then it, it's only 32 gig. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah well, it's fine. I mean, Still you, can, you can put more m more yeah. easily with micro SD. Yeah, plus of course you have the onboard memory too. So awesome. Um, so, you know, I mean, obviously with this commonality of design language, are we going to see more of this, like, pervading the entire, uh, pervading the entire ecosystem, the entire, uh, you know, design language? I mean, obviously the mobile division, you know, is, is, is kind of close, right? Yes. Like, but then you have the television business, you know, you have, you know, the new PlayStation that was announced, mm -hmm. but we haven't seen yet. Well, I so, think this is part of the vision, you know, over time, that you're going to see more of a, of a harmony uh, you know, each product has its own respective group and everything, but with M Mr. Suzuki overseeing the, the experience overall of the consumer electronics products, um, you're going to see more of that happening. Right. So, so one thing that starts out with is like the experience flow there that you see on, on the home screen there. 
you'll see that across more devices. Right. Uh, like the, the, the cascading screen unlock, you know, little touches like that. Maybe the placement of the you know the power button. Maybe this is an iconic statement on other products on as other we go products, down the road. Right. And so it's it's a you, it's a holistic view. You're doing hardware and the software, and you're trying yeah. to do the ecosystem. You announced that you're going to be consolidating the music and the uh, the the music market app. Yes, right? your Walkman yeah. player and uh, right. Uh, come come the summertime. The Music Unlimited service and the Walkman player are going to be fully integrated. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's something I've been personally waiting for for a long time, to have all of these these great music features together in one experience instead of going here for some music and here for some other so, music. So uh, this might you know, be a bit of an odd question, but you know, there's obviously been a lot of interest around the PlayStation 4 gaming. Mm -hmm. There's been, you know, the Vita has been a you know, pretty well received product mm -hmm. by the gamer community. Yes. So what about the PlayStation phone? Remember? How we had the Xperia PlayStation Play. certification, yes. Xperia Play, uh -huh. right? How is is that continuing on? I mean, obviously, is is, is that something that you, we're going to see maybe uh, focus uh, coming back into uh, into the now that you have these really iconic mobile devices? Well, it, it could be another asset that we draw upon. Uh, currently, you have the PlayStation Mobile Store for right. a touchscreen experience for. Uh, devices that are PlayStation certified, right. and, and we know that you know in our business the three core pillars that are, that are driving our business at Sony are, are is the mobile group, digital mm -hmm. imaging, and gaming. Right. So at some point it may make sense that we draw more from that resource. So obviously the Xperia Z you know was launched at the beginning of the year and it's mm -hmm. it's clearly a flagship device, right? So are we going to see this kind of approach uh, at Sony this year where you're going to be launching more Xperia's but this is going to remain the flagship for a while? You know how HTC yeah. has two devices a year maybe and Samsung has that one major one, maybe the Note that makes it two. Mm -hmm. um, is that kind of the strategy you're pushing here? Yeah. I mean, this would be great. Well, you know, again, aligning with our message of being a premium manufacturer and going aggressively in that premium space. Most of our marketing is going to be to the flagship product to get right. that message out. Yeah. Now, it's logical to us that other devices to follow may be at other price points, but we're still looking how we get these Sony attributes that can filter down. You know, so it's somebody who saying, oh, well, I'd, I'd like to aspire for that device, but right. maybe I don't have quite the, the same amount of cash. Yes, we're, we're going to have other devices in that line and have harmony with the design language, too. You know, if we look oh. back a year ago, even, you know, further back, the, there was different design approaches throughout the year, right? It didn't evolve. It just like kind of you'd see, oh, this one is this particular feature that we're promoting. This this other phone is this particular feature, and you might have a few products that have one specific design language. You know, right. more of a consolidated approach here, and that comes one year one year on, you know, from being wholly Sony, and having a, what we call the one Sony vision. Awesome. So, well, that's really great. Thanks so much again for spending the time with us, Stephen, Thank and you, uh, you know, coming to uh, to Mobile Congress with some great product. My pleasure. Cheers.